guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from the support group. And that question is, how do you move on from a narcissistic person? Or how do you move on from narcissistic people in your life? What do you do? Well, I have a whole list here. You guys know I love my list. And um, let's go down the list. What do you need to do? And how do you move on? But number one on my list, you're going to move on with your lessons, honey. Yes, that is the whole milk of it. That is the meat of the situation here that you need to be taking your T-bone steak with you. Take those lessons, all right? Well, for those of you that eat meat. <laughs> number two here separate them um you know so we're going to shed the codependency here we're going to step into our individuality we're going to be independent here and you know this goes so far like okay the way they treat it is a reflection of them and my self-worth is not a reflection of that you know this is how that works so making sure that we're separating from them all right and then another part of that separating from them is not leaving ourselves behind. See, we tend to look back on situations when we've left a piece of our heart with them. We're leaving our essence and our energy with them. No way. We're taking it all. Like, mm -mm, I'm taking me. I'm, I need me. I need all of me. You don't need no parts of me anymore, honey, okay? So we are separating from them, which is allowing us to take our whole selves away from that situation okay so the next thing that i have on my here on my list is when we move on from narcissistic people we need to have loads and loads and loads of compassion of patience and love for self okay we need to be taking our empathy with us we don't owe them nothing okay so the next thing i have here on my list you guys is we are going to be joyful about this because we're going to see that as a release. We're going to see the bigger picture and not just zoom in on the hurt and the pain and the trauma, but in the bigger picture, honey, I'm free. This is a release. I'm out of that situation. All right. The next thing I have here on the list is we're going to, when we move on from narcissistic people, we're going to be in acceptance versus resistance. I can accept, okay, you know what? This person mistreated me. Yeah, I went through that. Yeah, I have poor boundaries. Yeah, I was walking in a lack of self-love in that situation. You know, I can accept, you know what? I could have did that better. I should have did this. Do, 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 do. I can take my accountabilities. I can accept, you know what? This is over. This doesn't serve my life. This is no good for me bam and i'm letting go of resistance okay so the next thing that i have here is we're going to be rooted in reality or a lot of times we need to reground ourselves you know that narcissist was planting so many seeds and watering their illusions and delusions and lies and games and manipulation and you know we're going to take this fresh start so we need to clear their energy and have a spiritual cleanse you know let's start saging okay let's let's take out take get their items out of our homes and their pictures and all this stuff and some of y'all might need to buy a whole brand new bed okay like just get it out get that energy out of there and reground yourself in reality all right not what they were gaslighting you to believe all right when you move on from narcissistic people you need to become more and more self-focused and so all too often you're too much focused on what they're doing who they're doing it with and how they're doing it and you know stalking their social medias and all this type of stuff you guys so we need to be self-focused we need to be reconnecting with ourselves you guys and getting reacquainted with ourselves all right so when we move on from narcissistic abuse you guys we also need to understand the grieving process and there are five stages denial anger depression bargaining and acceptance and we can jump in and out through these stages go back and forth but nonetheless you know this is a progression through letting go of what we thought we had and you know that love bomb phase and all the trauma that we are going to have to unpack and work through so that we can release Okay. The next thing that we're going to have to do when we move on from narcissistic people in our life is to continue to clean house. You know, that primary relationship, you know, that may not be the only narcissistic person that you had before you knew better. Okay. There may have been a lot of other toxic connections that you're going to have to uh, clean house with. All right. 
The next thing I have here is you're going to move on as organized as possible. All right. So get a plan. Um, just make a list, if you will, of things that you want to do. Make sure you have all your sensitive documents and your items. If you have money set to the side, have a plan B, C, and D. Tie up your loose ends, honey, if possible. And I know sometimes because we're talking about trauma, it just has to be going. You know, and this is how some women end up in um, a safe house for domestic violence. That's like, I just had to go. All my things is, is left behind, but I had to go. Okay. And then, you know, a part of tying up the loose ends is changing our passwords, um, reordering our debit cards if necessary, taking them off of accounts, you know, all of this type of thing um, is what you may need to be doing. All right. Depending on how entangled you were with this person and on what levels. All right. The next thing, when you're moving on from a narcissist, you're going to do it with gratitude. Okay. With gratitude, baby, be thankful because you're free. Okay. You can take your lessons. You can move on. And this is the beauty of the situation. They stay toxic. They stay vessels of darkness and demonic things while you can actually grow and evolve and move on and get better in your life. All right. And I'm going to retract for a moment back to the getting organized part because I had a, a list of other things, checking your devices for trackers um, to make sure that they're not tracking you too. Okay. And maybe you might even need a new phone, a new phone number. You just, you never know. All right. But these are material things that can be replaced and it's not the end of the world. Okay. So the next thing that I have here on the list is to reconnect with your family and friends because abusers tend to like to isolate their victims. So just reconnect with them and, you know, you're building your support system at that point. All right, you guys. So that's what I have on my list here. And I hope that this is helping that survivor. How do you move on from narcissistic people in your life? Okay, with your head held high, with a smile on your face with lot with your arms open to receive the newness to start a fresh new chapter okay with with optimism and positivity being proud of yourself because you chose you you were strong enough to choose you all right so you're going to move on being proud that you know what I'm growing I'm evolving I was brave I did what I had to do all right and that's nothing to hold your head down for or hold your head up chin up all right. With that being said, if this video has resonated with you, make sure you hit that like button. Congratulations. All right. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, you guys, if you haven't over 700 videos to uplift, you know, to give you those you know, angles and pearls of wisdom. No more being naive, being gullible. You know, we need to understand this life and these people in it, including ourselves. All right. All right, if you are confused, if you need help, I do offer coaching, you guys. Visit my website, LakiaCrawford.com, and you can schedule your appointment. That link is down in the description below and everything else that I have going on as well. With that being said, moving on up, you have graduated. It's time to celebrate. Celebrate. Find a way to celebrate, all right? Good for you. Good for you. All right, with that being said, never give up on yourself. Continue to do the work. And until next time, please take care.